everybody, do you remember those really nappy stairways that I told you about and when it rained it would just leak and pour? You got that nice chair to come Yes. It's been a rough day. It looks like we've got some stuff on the stairs, but this is what it looks like now. If you're taller than us, duck your head, because remember you're in an old building and they have low ceilings. But uh, is this not pretty? Come on. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome to the dining room. These are the original floors with the last bit of goo. Is this not pretty? These floors are the original floors from Kenyans. They're a good hardwood floors. They are, aren't they? Aren't they? This here, these are your support beams. Remember when we sat on the, on the bar with your elbows? These run from the top of this building. Five floors through this floor, straight straight through those armrests at the bar. On a Scott, where you're standing now used to be a screened-in porch. If you look at this right here, this picture on the wall, you will see that Kenyans. This right here is the dining room. This big screened-in. Excuse me, I got a hiccup with uh, no building above it. That is actually, this used to be all screened in. You could sit here and see the lake and the park. This would have been where everybody sat. So this screened in porch area wrapped from here through here around this entire perimeter of this building. Mm -hmm. That's how enormous the screened in porch was. Wow. Absolutely enormous. I bet. Yeah. And until, okay. And there is a cute little thing right here. Everybody come on in here a minute. Something that accidentally got covered up that I'm a little bit bummed about, but we will be bringing it back. All right? Now, I know a lot of people don't believe in the Purple Gang or didn't even know it existed. It's not that they didn't believe, but I don't think they just knew about it. I'm studying it. All right? Yeah. Yeah, are you? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> yes, this, I am. This building actually um, had a trap floor door. Right through here where I keep the... Uh, um, what are those things called? Vacuums. <laughs> what are they called? I forgot. Um, the vacuums. The, this is one level floor here, but it has a step down right there off to the left. On that step down, there was also a little secret door. Okay? Now, if somebody was following you, if they didn't know that that step down, actually, if you step down on it, it would disappear. It was a trap floor. You'd fall down to the next level. Smart person wouldn't step on the floor in front of the door. <laughs> They'd step off this level floor, open the door, and go through. Yeah. Because if you were being chased, that other guy is way behind now. Mm -hmm. Get it? Now, I'm sorry, but you don't put things like that in your building unless there's a reason. You know what I mean? Right. And this right here, you can't see it anymore behind the jail outfits and stuff. But this is where the floor right here lived. And that's right where it stepped down. I could turn this on to give you a little more light. But that, that lower level, it is sealed now. The building code made sure that we button that up from the bottom. So you could step on that floor now and not fall through. But it does, and did, and still does exist. And unfortunately, they put wood. I was in Florida over the, the door. But now we're going to have to cut that back out because I didn't want them to accidentally cover that door. I thought that was really unique, but they didn't know. What existed back in the day, when the Purple Gang and Al Capone and all of them would have come and gone through here, this is the part of the hotel that they would have been in. They would have been in here. This is it, right here. Because this is all that existed. Mm -hmm. This is what I refer to as the old side of the hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay, this right here we do believe would have been like the strong room area. Okay, you can actually go in there and check out the floors. If you feel like you've uh, walking on tilted floors or lopsided floors, that's because yeah. you are. <laughs> but you know what? I love every tilted floor in this whole place. You know, you can tell now from the photographs that the windows have been exchanged and the new windows are in because they're light wood. But those, this was one of my best rooms in the best condition when we got Kenyans, which is why I have done nothing to it. Some things you just have to leave alone. You know what I mean? Some things you just don't want to touch, you know? This is, a lot of people don't know this, but here's a little bit of information for you. Um, 
You know, of course, everybody knows of Elvis Presley, right? Yes. And everybody knows of the Elvis Presley song, Jailhouse Rock. Jailhouse Rock. Right, mm -hmm. okay. When he went to the penitentiary to sing, okay, when he went to the jail to sing um, and do his concert there, the Purple Gang had been arrested. Mm -hmm. Two connections most people don't make. Mm -hmm. Elvis Presley lived in a place called Graceland Ballroom. Yeah. In Lupton, Michigan is where the Purple Gang built their own Graceland Grace Ballroom. Mm -hmm. Elvis, Ben Crosby, all of those people back in the time all were mafia related and everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. All right. When Elvis went to sing his song over at the prison, the Purple Gang had been arrested at that point in time. You can look this information up. Check your dates. When he was there and he was singing the song Jailhouse Rock, he ad-libbed a line in that song and said the whole Purple Gang was the rhythm section. Yeah, he did that he because the Purple Gang, he knew them, were there. Uh -huh. That verse stuck in that song forever. Mm -hmm. To this very day, when you hear that song on the radio, you're going to hear that line, the whole Purple Gang was the rhythm section. It actually was changed and conformed to keep those words in there. Mm -hmm. And that actually was in reference to the fact that the Purple Gang was really in jail at that time when El when Elvis, Elvis was there was singing. There. Is that not amazing? Yeah. Most people Do you remember the door where I said that we didn't it, this isn't like a fake door. This is a real door that was here but we redid it in gray. Do you see the gray? This I want you to imagine this whole room in this these two dark tones of gray. Not very impressive folks. What we did was I just went right back over it. My girlfriend, Jimmy Jones, owned this place, like I said, for 28 years. He met his wife here. They were together for 14 years. I worked for Jimmy when he first came in, so I remember his wife. I remember when the babies came along and all that stuff. And it was so funny because one day we're sitting here, and I went over and I opened up the bookshelf and walked through it. And she was like, what the heck? I lived here for 14 years. What would you just do? I said, I went to the bookshelf. She didn't even know it existed. You know, I said, oh my gosh, look, I got more things to show you about this building then. It's a door. Downstairs, there's one tunnel that I, I really, I know I'll never be able to get into. But it's the one tunnel I really want to get into the worst. And it's probably because I can't. You know what I mean? It's probably why it aggravates me so bad. It's a big one. And it comes off from where I'm standing, right, right about the bars here, right here. No, it'd be right here. Right in front of this door, underneath this door, would be one of the secret passage tunnels, which is really big. And, and it obviously was humongous because when they bricked it in, this passage off, they bricked it off. When the Liquor Commission came through, they, this building hadn't had its dimensions done in a long time. And it was so old that they, when I went to change hands, they wanted new blueprints. Okay? Well, they come over to do them themselves, but the blueprints of the outside of the building did not match the blueprints of the inside of the building. And they wanted to know why. And it was my job to have to say, okay, let's go through some of these tunnels. Right off the bat, red flags all over the place. What are all these tunnels and secret passages? And You know, I didn't build them. They've been there forever. They're as old as the building is. Obviously, you can see that, you know. But I had to get special permission. It held up my liquor license trying to get these passages explained because nobody ever put them in the books. They were never marked down in the past. And you could clearly see that they were well there before anything else was built. You know, the age of those tunnels, they could clearly see. And the funny part is, is that one of them, like I said, is so big and so tall. And it goes right, the door to that one would be right here. And if you were to go through it, it goes to the exterior of this building, okay, and about here. And you can clearly see where there was some crawl spaces that were also bordered in on the side. And it went straight through underneath the side of my train cart. And then it hooked off to the right. Unfortunately, the bulldozers and stuff, when they had to do the parking lot, and I've got some pictures of the ones on the hard drive. That hard drive one is the one I really wanted to show tonight. And we had to wing it with the other pictures because the one on the hard drive was one that I couldn't get off with that new computer that arrived broken, but it actually shows the tear apart 
of that train cart. It shows the tunnels under there as we found them. It shows everything that I wanted to show you tonight and couldn't.